A mother cries out in anguish. At her feet, the bodies of three of her children, wrapped in shrouds. <laughs> the sheer devastation of Israeli airstrikes on the urbanized Jabalia refugee camp makes accounting for all the dead nearly impossible. Israel says this video shows when its forces hit the camp in northern Gaza. A senior Hamas commander was killed and tunnels destroyed, according to Israeli officials. People here had been warned to leave their homes and head south, but it's clear many civilians stayed behind. A large number of injured have come to us after the explosion that shook the entire Jabalia refugee camp. Hundreds of injuries, hundreds of dead. They were just in their homes. They were targeted while they were in their homes. Three weeks after it was promised, Israel's ground assault of Gaza has begun in earnest. You can see just how extensive the Israeli military presence is outside of Gaza. Regular troops, hundreds of thousands of reservists, lots of armour and artillery. But now we know the Israeli military is deep inside the borders. This is just the beginning. And the beginning is in the north because the city of Gaza is the centre of gravity for Hamas. And that is where we chose to act. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu has cast this war as a battle between good and evil. But this battlefield is full of civilians, and calls for a ceasefire are growing around the world. Israel says any pause in its operation to crush Hamas will give the group time to recover. The US is pushing for more aid to be allowed in from Egypt to help Gaza's two million residents. We do believe that humanitarian pauses could be of value, but there has to be credible support on both sides here for where to do it, when to do it, for how long to do it. 66 trucks carrying humanitarian supplies have entered Gaza in the last 24 hours. And while it's the largest single day delivery in this war, it's a fraction of what's needed. A humanitarian crisis growing more desperate by the day, along with this war's human toll. Eric Twarczyk, ABC News, Ashdod.